All right, Jessica, thank you. It is golf for a great cause. The Texas Custom Builders Guild Shriners Hospitals for Children Charity Golf Tournament is a little more than two weeks away. It is a mouthful, but it's for a very good cause. And we want to meet two people who are heavily involved with it this morning. Catherine Koontz <laughs> is almost nine years old. She's right here. And Bob Jones is with the Alcifar Shriners. Nice to have both of you here. Thank you. So you're going to be at this golf tournament, Catherine, in a couple of weeks or so? Yes. Do you play golf? Uh, no. No, no. But you do have a very inspiring story. Um, and I'm wondering if you could share a little bit about what has happened to you and, and how you've been impacted by the Shriners. Can you tell us about that? Um, yes. Go ahead. Well, they have helped me very much, and I've been loving that. You were actually involved, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in, in a fire that goes back to, it was around the time of Hurricane Ike, right, in 2008 or so? Mm-hmm. And you, you were burned. Can you tell us at all about that or what you remember from that and, and what happened to you? Well, I do remember that um, I was in a building and somehow the building caught on fire. This, if, if I read correctly, this was a building that you were sheltered in, your family, and you were sheltered when the hurricane was coming. Is that correct? Yes. Um, and uh, so obviously it's a tough situation, Bob, but th this is an example of some of the great work that you do because I know she's undergone dozens and dozens of skin grafts yes. to get to where she is today. <clears throat> That's true, yeah. Brave little girl. What, what can you <laughs> tell us about her story and, and how <clears throat> inspiring she has been to yourself and to other people, other Shriners too? Well, it just, it just happened that Hurricane Ike knocked out our hospital in Galveston at that mm -hmm. time. So we had to shuttle her to an alternate hospital. We have a Burns Hospital in Cincinnati and one in Boston and then one in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. The one in Cincinnati and one in Boston were full, so she had to go to Sacramento. Right. And uh, she stayed there for, uh, I don't know, she was under, under their care for a little over a year until we got the Galveston Hospital back in shape. Yeah. And uh, so we, we opened that up. And the Texas Custom Builders Guild has helped us out with uh, um, making money. This is their fourth year. Yeah. And uh, it just happened they, they had their tournament around the time that we were, we were, we were in need of uh, mm -hmm. getting our hospital back in order. And we're so looking, I'm sorry, we're looking at some of the photos here, and, and this is just Catherine. Uh, I guess uh, are you a fisher, fisherwoman? <clears throat> yes, I like to fish with my dad. Oh, you do? Okay. You look like my dad are bone survivors. Who's a better fisher? Fisher person, you um, or your dad? I'm guessing both uh -huh. because most of the time my dad grew up in the country, so he knows I how see. to fish. I, you were saying too that both you and your dad are burn survivors, yes. right? Yes. How happy are you that you've been able to work with the Shriners and how much have they helped you in the last few years? Well, they helped me very much that I'm so pleased. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. They've been helping me with everything, and I just love it how <clears> they <throat> help me. And so moving forward, you're going to continue to help them, right? Like you're going to be at the golf tournament? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That is wonderful stuff. You are a beautiful young lady, Thank and you. we're so glad to have you here this morning. You look wonderful. Let's put up the information here because the golf tournament is coming. And uh, these things, of course, cost money sometimes. And so we certainly would invite you to come out. May 8th is the golf tournament, TPC San Antonio, a beautiful resort, of course. You can have a lot of fun out there, help out a great cause, help out young people like Catherine and the Shriners as well. And it's such an inspiring story. Feel good story today. I feel really good and inspired by you. So thank you for being here. And to you, Bob, as well, thank you for sharing your stories this morning. Thank you. Okay. 848 right now. We are going to step aside. We will come back and find out the forecast. Sean's got the seven-day as you uh, plan for golf or fiesta, whatever the case may be. We will hear that when we come back.